In technical drawing, we need some basic equipment, a T-square, a 45 degree set square, a 30 degree set square, long ruler, pencil, eraser, sharpener, and a fine liner. The two set squares make very distinct lines. So we have a 45 by 45 by 90 degree set square that creates 45 degree lines and 90 degree lines. Now isometric set square uh, creates 30 by 30 by 90 lines. Of course, the actual set square itself has one side at 30, the other side at 60. We, we do not use the side that has 60. Now, to begin, we need to make sure that we understand alignment. So, whenever we use our drawing board, our T-square has to be flush against it. That is, the head of the T-square has to be flush against the side of the drawing board. This will give us a level beginning point to set the, our paper onto the drawing board. So we need to make sure that the paper is always in alignment with the drawing board. So the top and bottom and the sides are all parallel to the edges of the drawing board. <clears throat> and we do this by making sure that our T-square head is flush against the drawing board side and then the paper is flush against the T-square blade. Now, our T-square must always be flush against the side of, of the drawing board. And our set square is also flush against the blade of the T-square. This will assure us uh, 45 degree lines that can be repeated again and again um, in relation to each other rather than being arbitrary marks. Now we can use our, our set square in two ways. One is at 45 degrees and we can rotate it to create lines at 90. Now, as we move up and down the, um, our drawing, we are moving our T-square, being conscious it's always flush with the edge of the drawing board. And our set square it is always sitting flush against the blade of the T-square. These three things all work as a single instrument. Now, ordinarily for a final presentation, you need to create a border and a title box. The border is 10 millimeters all round, and the title box is a long strip at the base of your drawing, again at 10 millimeters, with your text in uppercase, which is six millimeters high, but with two millimeter gaps on top and bottom. Let's have a go at, at having um, creating a little box. So let us begin with our 45 degree lines. Remembering everything has to be flush. The T-square against the drawing board. The set square against the T-square. So we can flip around our planometric set square. Create an arrow shape. Once we have an arrow shape, we can commence with the remainder of the owl drawing. Now, you may have a, uh, a large set square, you may have a small set square. If you have a small set square, you can always extend your lines. Now, once we do have our arrow, we can now decide how tall this box will be and just bring up your T-square and mark off. Make the line on the opposite side of the box. You need to correspond with the intersection of the first mark. So now we have um, a double arrow. Our next step is to 
cut off the depth. Once you decide how deep your box will be, just draw a straight vertical line at 90 degrees and again on the other side. Now this is giving us uh, intersections between our 90 degree line, our vertical line and our diagonal line at 45. This intersection is what we are interested in. So we go to that intersection and draw a line at 45, go to the other one and do the same. We now have a box. Notice that we have lines exceeding the, the box itself. Uh, because we've drawn in a 2 edge pencil, we can now fine line this and we fine line with a ruler um, and then we can erase the pencil marks away and we have a nice clean box. Okay, why don't we use this box as a crate? A crate is simply the, the idea of imagining an object within a box. So let's do an L-shaped Tetris. We have our beginning of our penciled in box. This time we can create a whole range of lines that correspond to an L. So we, we can just start with the top and the sides. And we have now a profile of our L. We can now create all the remaining lines you should be able to see an L shape um, within that rectangular cube. We can fine line it and erase 